What's up, jammers? You ready for another episode of Traffic Jams? Here we go then. These are the songs that are going to make that hour and a half detour caused by a big accident blocking the highway feel a little bit more like taking the scenic route. This week we're enjoying a nice kicked back jam with a Saskatchewan and a Saskatchewan Saskatch winner, a guy from Regina, Saskatchewan. Andy Schwab. Sometimes he kind of does this like cutesy thing with his voice, like a baby from New York. But Andy could sing any way he wanted to, and I would buy his albums because his songwriting is so friggy good. Jam that like button if you agree. This album alone earned Andy four Juno Award nominations, two Canadian Independent Music Award nominations, five Western Canadian Music Award nominations, and that highly sought after Polaris nomination. And yeah, he won a couple of those too. And by no coincidence either, Andy had a solid half billion other projects under his belt by the time this came out. But if he's released so much music, then what makes the party so special? First and foremost, like all the music I recommend here on Traffic Jams, Andy brought it with the songwriting on this album. The concept of this album is that somebody's at a house party and they're observing all the different interactions happening around them. He sings about the person who shows up embarrassingly early. He sings about the magician who's doing the rounds. And he caps it all off with a beautiful song about slow dancing with someone you don't know and reflecting on maybe doing something similar with someone you did know and what that feels like to be simultaneously hopeful for the future but sad for the past and it's just real beautiful stuff. And the reason I find this particularly impressive is because when asked about it at an interview, Andy said that he drew his inspiration for this album from one night. How observant can one person be? The other reason why I think this album turned out to be a big one for our buddy Andy is because after trying many different musicians in the studio, he ultimately decided to just play everything himself. And something I found out recently is that the reason he's able to do that is because his parents owned a music store when he was growing up. And all musical ability aside, the composition's so good that I have a hard time believing he's not related to Beethoven in some capacity. Not the dog. But of all of his musical skill, Andy really excels at something called the clarinet. When was the last time you even heard that word? I tell you, Andy's thinking about it a lot. He's probably playing one right now. His clarinet playing adds this totally dreamy kind of overtone to everything. And I often catch myself feeling like I'm just floating when Andy's playing that thing. Anyway, that hour and a half detour I was telling you about at the start of this episode was a real thing that happened to me, so... Make sure you queue up that Traffic Jams by Dino playlist on Spotify before you start driving so you can keep your eyes on the road, not become the vehicle that is causing an hour and a half detour, and join me again next week for more Traffic Jams. See you then.